this is my third uh, lecture. Today, particularly, I'm going to talk about in-situ observation of phase transformation. Uh, many of you are very familiar with the studying the phase transformation. So I think, I, I do hope, after my uh, uh, lecture, I can uh, uh, have many questions and useful comments on this, uh, on my, my lecture. But anyway, when we are studying the, the interface related phenomena, the phase transformation is one of the most important subjects. But anyway, the interface phenomena, uh, the uh, phase transformation is very, I should say, complicated phenomenon, I think. So particularly in connection with the, the role of Levy boundary or interface. So today <coughs> I'm going to just be begin with background or the basis or the motivation of our research. But the motivation of this work is actually <coughs> Most of the engineering material, as you uh, already I mentioned the, the in previous two uh, lectures, the most of the engineering material, polycrystal material. So the, for the control of the microstructure, we have to control the gram boundary microstructure to improve the performance. Take a for example, steel or uh, iron and steel. So in this case, in iron and steel, alpha gamma phase transformation, most popular phase transformation. So we are very much interested how the gram boundary microstructure can be delayed phase transformation. This is one of our motivation. So as you know, <coughs> from the microstructure observation, you can clearly see the <laughs> massive uh, transformation or Benedict transformation in this in this transformation depending on the, uh, the temperature we can observe the big variety of microstructure so how such a large variety of microstructure can be evolved or can be formed during the phase transformation is very important and particularly, if you look at the, the gram boundary in the matrix, often gram boundary becomes the preferential site of new creation of new phase like this. But anyway, again, you can differ the, the different morphology of a new phase. But why such a large variety we can observe in connection with gram boundary? presence of gram band. Particularly, we are very much interested in the effects of gram band character or structure. Because as I already mentioned, the individual band has own character, own structure. And the, such an interfacial phenomena strongly depend on the band character and the structure. So this is the reason. And then, from recent literature, we know such a thing. For example, in molten static transformation, MS temperature at, for example, tilt bound is higher than those at twist bound if you study use in bicrystal sun. So like this, this is a recent work. If you are interested, please uh, check by yourself. And also, as you know, the, we know the, in the case of alpha gamma phase transformation in iron, such as between the alpha and the gamma phase, the, uh, the, uh, we often observe special orientation relationship, like a uh, uh, criticism of that the orientation relationship. So what's the physical meaning of such the spe uh, special orientation relationship? The matrix and the new phase. So again, <coughs> we 
we are we wanted to study relationship between brain band and microstructure. For example, if we say that brain band that density means the brain size. So so far many people study the effects of brain size on phase transformation. That's the density of the brain band. Because we already know the brain band can be a preferential site of new uh, new creation of new phase. <clears throat> but anyway, we don't know, um, even until recently, we do not know the, the effectiveness of brain band at the new creation site uh, uh, of the new phase. Uh, so, so this is the, uh, the one of the reasons we studied this. And also, <clears throat> brain band connectivity, how the connectivity between the different type of band can affect the microstructure evolution of the, of the polycrystal, polycrystal material. So as you see, the <coughs> brain band can be a new creation site, and also always when the new phase is formed, new interface boundary is uh, the form. So, and the subsequently the interface migration produces a microstructure. So always the, new, the role of the interface, uh, formation of interface or migration, uh, key parameter of the, the phase transformation. And then how the formation of new green boundary microstructure, which control the bulk property of polygrism. This is the, the whole uh, scheme of our study. <coughs> so, <coughs> as I mentioned, how the green boundary character or connectivity influence the phase transformation. So, <coughs> to see, to study the, or to understand the such a basic uh, issue, the in situ observation is so direct. So see thing is believing, I think. So anyway, so firstly, how does the brain bundle character affect as I, as I mentioned already, at the new creation of growth of gamma phase when we heat up the the sample from the alpha uh, the state to gamma or, or vice versa, we can form <coughs> from the lower temperature, if we in the increase the temperature, gamma phase form at some time, grain boundary, triple junction, or grain interior. So anyway, we can confirm which is the more preferential site of new uh, gamma phase. And then after the denucleation, the new phase have to expand and the volume is uh, increasing and then interface boundary have to they meet the previous uh, initially existing grain boundary. What happened when the interface meets previous uh, existing grain boundary? This is the interesting. Now experimental detail. So for this kind of study, we use iron chromium alloy, comp the composition about four uh, atomic percent. Because from this phase diagram, uh, iron chromium binary alloy, here, here is about uh, composition. This alloy has uh, some similar advantage for this study. Because <coughs> phase transformation temperature around this, so it's not so high, it's not so uh, and diffusion control phenomenon, as diffusion control, that's the other point. And also, another second uh, point is very important. Here is the, <coughs> the alpha gamma coexisting region. That region is very narrow. This means the such alpha gamma phase transformation can occur rather isotropic like an isotropic transformation, just as in pure iron. So <coughs> another, another thing, so <coughs> also such a phase 
what nature of can at uh, appropriate uh, the transformation rate for observation. And then finally, this alloy, iron-chromium, high, has a high oxidation register. Otherwise, during observation, if surface is heavily oxidized, we cannot observe the, the phase transformation. So such they are, uh, because of such a <coughs> reason, we uh, selected this material. And then another important thing, the, what the procedure of our observation. So before the institute of the observation phase transformation, firstly we characterize the membrane. before the phase transformation. So by using orientation imaging microscope. So we can say the which boundary uh, is a specific or a general boundary, definitely. And then we did the in situ observation at, uh, using a high temperature optical microscope, actually uh, <coughs> in atom uh, urban atmosphere. So our hot state really, uh, can, can be heat up about the 1100 degrees C. So that's very, uh, enough for this observation. And then heating or cooling rate uh, about uh, 5 degrees per minute. But uh, we can increase it to, uh, up to 50 degrees. So from the room temperature, uh, uh, initially, we use about 50 uh, degrees per minute, and then when the temperature uh, approaches the phase transformation below the 50 degrees uh, uh, from the uh, phase transformation, we change the, uh, the uh, heating rate of this to observe the gradually very slow. This is a technique. And then, actually, we cycled such an observation uh, around the phase transformation temperature about one, uh, one, three, seven times to confirm the such a reversibility of the phase transformation. Anyway, so, and then finally again, we analyze green boundary microstructure after the phase transformation. <coughs> so this is the setup of the hour, uh, the, of uh, the, high temperature ECG observation of the uh, uh, phase transformation. Here is the uh, video of the camera. Uh, and then uh, this is the main part, the hot stage and the camera, but we use long focus objective lens. And then particularly to get a very strong light, the, we use a mercury vapor uh, lamp. And then the, during a phase tra transformation, we by using a CCD camera, we correct recorded all the process of the phase transformation. And then uh, after the, the phase transformation test, we check the rec uh, recorded image carefully, and then we analyze. So we can as I'm going to uh, explain the detail, we can determine the, even the, the migration rate of interface boundary during a phase transformation. So for the sample preparation, so of course, uh, just, just purification, uh, vacuum melting, and then load, or just ordinary. And then finally, we get about uh, the thickness about one millimeter uh, one and then electro polish and then five, uh, at this stage about less than the 100 micron thick, thick, uh, sample we got and then the we evaluate uh, 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 in, in this stage uh, we analyze the OIM uh, uh, band we analyze the grain boundary by OI. And then just after this, we slightly put the silicon oxide, the SiO2, the co uh, coated SiO2. This is the need to, how should I say, to uh, avoid oxidation, also this char uh, charge on the 
sounds. So this is the uh, oxidation, very important. And then, so actually we did not only iron chromium, iron cobalt as well, but uh, today I only mentioned about the result of iron chromium. So <coughs> we use, studied five samples and average grain size about uh, 60 micron and the thickness of it. So this means we prepared almost two dimensional polycrystalline sample to simplify the situation. And then, oh, uh, and this, as I mentioned, the, the, I, we cycled the, uh, cycle the phase transformation of the region. So, before the in situ observation, by using an orientation imaging microscope, we characterize all problems. Let line mean low angle bound with misorientation angle smaller than 15 degrees. And then the green one means sigma 3 coincides between the bound. And so, and then, and black line indicates that the, this uh, random high energy band. So as you can see, more random boundary exists, but still low angle boundary more like this. And then we selected certain area, typical area, or not only one, a uh, couple of the area. And then we, after this, we focus this area and then heat up the sample and we continue to observe. So, like this. So, in the same area. So, I I will repeat a couple of times to, uh, 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 to recognize that, but uh, it's not so easy. To, please, please look at the three area particularly. So new interface one forming like this, and then moving like this, and then like this again. recorded the time and then we can see how like this like this again okay, one more and Interface boundary is not smoothly or, or 
doesn't move, uh, was not moving the constant speed. In some area, rather, I should say, the moving is a lot slow, but in some area, move the So, migration of interface is not so smooth. But sometimes very rapid, but sometimes. Because of interaction between the interface boundary and pre existing the web boundary in the matrix. So, again, already we characterize the, the previously existing web boundary. We can delete the, <coughs> uh, we can analyze and uh, we can know what type of boundary or where or at which triple junction can be a more preferential site of new phase of the formation. So <clears throat> from this table, we checked. So total observation of nuclear site of the uh, is uh, 50. In this case, one sample. So among the 15, almost 75% of new site, nuclear site, in the and another such percent is the There is no nuclear preferential nuclear site in the green. So most of the, the new the gamma phase were formed at triple junction and green. And what's the character? of the triple junction, or Grim uh, triple junction, which became a preferential site. As you see, triple junction means three boundary means at the point or a line. In this case, because of the individual, as I mentioned, the individual boundary are own character. If we simplify the, uh, simply classify high energy random boundary or low, or low energy band special boundary like this, so if the triple junction compo uh, is composed three random high angle boundary, in this case, most, this is the most preferential site. Of the and the secondary, the triple junction which composed two random boundary, like this. So <clears throat> among the triple junction, which are composed of low energy boundary, cannot play a preferential site of the region. So there is a very clear difference in the role of Brembo depending on the, Brem the triple junction character. So this is a leading new one. To my knowledge, there was no such a work before the hour. Of course, many people observe preferential site, uh, triple junction can be a preferential site of new region. But not all the triple junction can be the preferential site. There is a, some selection of the, the, the character, dependent on the character. This is the one of the most important the observation of our process. And then, now, second, from our observation, because of in-situ observation, we can directly determine migration rate or migration velocity of so if we plot the distance as function of the time from the image of the history of the function. So <clears throat> as you see, the distance increase as function of temperature at certain point of time. And then beyond this, the drastically distance increase. That means interface found moving faster than before. This slope is velocity of interface bound. So, as you see, what is the physical reason of such a change? Because this is the, such a two-step the migration of interface bound has never been observed before. So <clears throat> actually, I, I mentioned just 
I conquered before. Actually, in this range, this is the last of two phases region of Alpha, Gamma, the uh, phase of And then beyond this, only the Gamma, the, the single phase exists. So, and another thing, you can see the actual value of velocity. This Saturday, about 0.1 uh, for micron per second. But beyond this, almost one order higher than the, the initial stage of the migration. So, like this. Uh, Actually, of course, uh, this data, previous data, just I mentioned only one of the sample, but of course, we hope that the same thing on the different samples, so we can get similar data so to confirm. And then, of course, depending on, as I already mentioned, depending on the nucleation site, maybe the, the, this value are slightly different. But anyway, the, if we plot the migration velocity as a function of temperature, there is a large scatter of, depending on the sample, four samples like this. But anyway, surprising thing, this range, which the migration velocity Okay, it's the surprising the, in the almost same level, which the about nearly 20 years ago, one of my old the friend classmate, he was the Kumamoto University, Professor the Chiba, uh, report the on this the uh, alpha gamma phase transformation. Of this alloy, and then he reported the velocity, migration velocity as a factor of the from the, uh, the thermodynamic analysis, not a direct observation. So, almost the same level, but from direct observation or in situ observation, we observe such a large scatter. Why? Because, as I already mentioned, depending on during the migration velocity, due to the interaction between the grain boundary existing in the, in the matrix, such a migration can be affected locally. So there's a large scale. So anyway, so <clears throat> we can determine the migration velocity directly. So maybe when you model the phase transformation, you can use the, the value, actual observed value of the migration of interface and the uh, boundary. And then another interesting observation finding is this. When we repeat or cycle alpha gamma transformation and then gamma alpha transformation so heating up and then cooling up just the uh, around alpha gamma phase transformation temperature in this case this is the initial microstructure before phase transformation and then by transformation and the cycle the phase transformation as you see the grain growth occur start to break us Because, and then another thing, another finding, you can clearly recognize green lines bound. This is a twin bound, sigma three bound. Density of the twin bound, right? They increase compared with the initial as an condition. Like this. In those twin boundaries are associated 
with original brain burn in the matrix before the patient. Or later, a growing burn. With increasing the number of cycles, such a phenomenon becomes more significant. And of course, density of green band, sigma twin band, increase. So this is again very interesting. But the mechanism of the formation, preferential nucleation of the, <coughs> the such a special part. Probably Dr. Ray can give me that any comment because she already knows the paper to my knowledge more than 10 years ago, I think, variant selection of the phase transport in connection with Rembrandt. So I hope after my lecture. But anyway, such a thing. <clears throat> and then, of course, because of uh, the recycling, uh, the cycling, the phase transformation, the other nature, such a new, the sigma three boundary uh, form connecting to the, the gamma band. But uh, if we determine the deviation angle, of the, those twin band, sigma three band, from the exact coin, the, the sigma coincidence orientation, the deviation angle, the, we, we call just, we, we plot the, the random uh, ratio. That means, in the case of sigma three boundary, about maximum deviation angle, 8.7 degree. So <coughs> this is the maximum 8.7 degree. Or three, sigma three band in this case. But uh, depending on the sigma value, the, that's uh, the maximum value that is decreasing as function of the inverse sigma. Uh, so anyway, there is such, so that means still within the, the special bound, but gradually, gradually, this, the expand. But uh, anyway, why? That's the reason why such a special bond upon particularly such a high density of sigma three bond. <coughs> so now my sec second part of my talk. Okay? So why we observe two stage migration of the interface at the bond? There is some uh, useful paper by Professor Matt Hirad, recent paper. Some of you already carefully read. And then he discussed the critical limit for massive part formation in this paper. And the conclusion he says there is a possibility that the critical limit at which massive transport diffusion control start yield at the double low velocity controlled by the dissipation and gives energy inside this interface. In this case, there is another critical limit at which the velocity increases this quantity to much higher value controlled mainly by friction and migration interface. I'm not sure whether this is the exactly corresponding the exact the explanation from our observation. But he uh, stated like this. So anyway, how to explain such a two state is really interesting. But uh, anyway, we have been trying to work out the mechanism of alpha gamma phase transform in connection with Glenn Bandai, the uh, role of Glenn Bandai. Of course, <coughs> many people have already discussed the mechanism of alpha-gamma phase 
different strategy since more than 50 years. But anyway, this subject is too new. So <clears throat> recently, we just maybe end of this month, our paper will appear. The title of our paper, a mechanism of pre-matching boundary assisted alpha gamma is this on the basis of our research observation. So maybe I think at uh, end of this month or next month, you can meet in the live in the tight shift metal group. But anyway, at the point, because as I already mentioned, our main of the, the finding from the ECG observation of alpha gamma phase transformation, this is the ECG, because of ECG observation, we can, we could determine migration values. So, <clears throat> direct measurement of migration values. And also, we studied role of Lemberg triple junction at the nucleation site. And, and then, we are now considering role of inter, uh, the pre-matching boundary of, of interface, pre-matching inter between this 110 plane in PCC alpha phase and 111 plane in gamma phase. Because these two planes are most cross packed plane, atomic plane in PCC and FCC. So if the two plane, atomic plane, two type of plane, one is a one one plane or the other is a one one plane, because both are cross plane, meets at the interface bound. This means atomic transfer between the one side and the other most much easier than another case. So this is a very simple idea. But anyway, whether is there any the observation, the such a boundary, I'm soon uh, going to talk uh, into this. But anyway, about the relation, orientation relationship between the matrix and the new phase, particularly alpha gamma phase transformation, as you know from almost half a century ago, such a very famous paper, crystallographic paper. In this case, already we know the principle of relation. What's the principle of that relation? The, for example, in the case of austenite and between the Martin site, BCC, one one plane is parallel to the one one austenite like this. So <clears throat> there is such a relation. And also Nishiyama Bassaman, which slightly deviate but specific and so we know such a thing, but if we, as I already introduced, such a relationship is very interesting. So <clears throat> in connection with such the idea, already there are several papers. So in the case of diffusion control of the alpha gamma phase transformation, those nuclei which have low interfacial energy from preferred, of course, nature is very economic. So at the beginning of phase transformation, the system that produces high energy inter, rather low energy, normal. So like this, and then semi-coherent interface between the matrix for form if the cross packed plane of each phase, like this, are piled to each other. There is such a discovery. And that for degree of coherence in ECC can greatly increase by formation of the like this. More changing of the character. Why? That is the flexibility of the character. And then another paper. When the, the author determined experimentally the 
deviation angle from the right from case deviation C. Most of the grain deviate within the 10 degree from the exact case deviation. So actually deviation angle below the smaller than 10 degree is allowable the deviation angle. If we assume the role of frame matching boundary by introducing the dislocation, just like a low angle boundary, we can cover the deviation angle very easily. So <clears throat> now, final part, uh, our model, frame matching interface boundary approach, it's the phase transformation from the lattice imaging of PM boundary actually were reported by those, not the alpha gamma phase, uh, the, uh, the alloy, uh, uh, steel, but in this case, aluminum magnesium, precipitation and metal. So between the frame and the cross-packed plate meet between the matrix and the Another data, in the case of articulation, was in the interface case. Again, like this, this is the C. So, there are several cases where the matrix and the new phase, between the new phase, cross packed plane in the new phase and the cross packed plane in the matrix, the part or the, the connecting across the that is such a case. So, <coughs> From, uh, from my old observation, more than 20 years ago, during the grain growth of an iron silicon case, this is the, base, uh, the basis of this uh, the, uh, experiment. When we anneal the iron silicon, the 3% silicon alloy, of course, after primary annealing, we get the the polycrystal microstructure. And then, we, if we continue the annealing, secondary or abnormal grain growth occurs from the boundary, initially existing boundary. And then, interesting is this. This grain grow only in this direction. See? So, at this time, we just started to use an electron channel so we took the image from this region, like this. So this is the carried of 1, 4, 1, 4, 4. And then if we took the image, electron EPC, uh, ECP image, this is it. So this is 1, 1, 1. But as you see, if we take the image on the Boundary. You can see So, one 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 frame is continuous, but the other frame is not So, this is a direct observation to only one 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 frame. Of course, in BCC case, one 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 frame most cross packed. So, cross packed frame is continuous. And another thing, important thing. Abnormal grain growth occurred along the 110 plane. So this means this part and also another important thing. So this is the boundary. So this plane is 110 plane. This means along this rotation, two grain in a relatively rotated plane. Because this plane continues. So this is a, this part almost tilt component, main primary uh, the major uh, tilt component exists. So it's a tilt part. But uh, this is it, just the part, uh, the perpendicular the rotation. So this is a twist part. So this such a Anisotropic 
migration but occurred due to the cut the frame boundary, frame match 110 frame match bound. Particularly abnormal grain growth, or the anisotropic grain growth occurred along the 110 frame due to the migration of tilt component of 110 frame match. So, that's the model. This is a simple. So, <coughs> this newly formed grain is migrating, expanding in the matrix, subsoil into 111, and the newly grain subsoil into 110. So, 110 print continuous across the boundary. So, this is the tilt this so as you see, in the same one hour frame, during the migration of frame matching boundary, atoms belong to the one side, to this side, should only transfer in the same atomic frame, just across. So very simple, because this is not a single shear uh, the mechanism, but also some more complicated movement. But of course, even the shear can be possible. But anyway, such a way, the transfer can be possible. The possible. More preferential occur on the same. In comparison with another disorientation situation. So this is the mechanism. Actually, this was probably about nearly 20 years ago. The Nick Rizalit at the Green Gross Conference held in the Netherlands. Anyway, now, quite recently, because we are very much interested in the role of such a pre-matching bank, we calculate what type of you know, what atomistic frame can be the candidate of frame matching boundary. So uh, if we simply calculate for FCC, DCC, SCP, beyond this more most cross pack more cross pack uh, uh, frame. So maybe in the single phase of FCC case, maybe the pair of one one frame or O2 or two two O maybe one of the possible. In the case of DCC, one one frame matching or possible. And but in the case of the interface boundary, maybe we can select the such a pair. So in the case of alpha gamma phase transformation, maybe most probable case, 110 frame in gamma in the 110 frame in alpha. So this is the brief outline of a model which will appear in the Takeshi metal. And then finally, why? Now finally, I want to tell you why we are such a, uh, the reason why we are very much interested in the mechanical phase transfer. Because recently, including us, when we apply magnetic field, we can control the microstructure very drastically. And then depending on the direction of magnetic field, sometimes we can control the inclination of the So very the unique microstructure can be formed. So of course depend if we control the direction of magnetic field, maybe we can also control the inclination of interface boundary or grain boundary equal to one. Because so far it's not easy to control the 
inclination of grain band in real polycrystal. Particularly in three dimensional. But anyway, if we apply magnetic field, maybe it's possible to control not only boundary character distribution, I mentioned the last two times. But the, he, he, by applying external fields like a magnetic field, maybe we can control even the grain boundary incrementation to produce a specific value. So this is the recent work. Uh, the uh, most recent one was about my But anyway, this is the. Thank you very much. Bye.
that's uh, only the gamma phase. Yeah. Yeah. Well, let me uh, let me express it a different way, <laughs> oh, yes. and then you, you you tell me if it's correct. Or oh, yeah, no. correct. <laughs> uh, that superheating the alpha into the single phase gamma phase here, and my interpretation, which might be wrong, is that when you are transforming in the two phase alpha plus gamma field, you must have diffusion of the chromium. Because you know the difference, there's a difference in the equilibrium composition of alpha and gamma. When you go into a single phase where well, that's not necessary. But you see, I think your plot is misleading. <laughs> yeah? Because you're plotting distance versus time, but right. the temperature is also changing, isn't it? Oh yes, because yeah. you see, because we use at constant heating temperature. Yeah. So we can definitely say what the temperature. Right. You see? But so the velocity we can't calculate. Precisely, because the temperature is also changing. But at constant, the linearly increase. It's increasing at a constant rate, yeah. but the gradient of that graph doesn't give you velocity, does it? Because that is the at function the time, not the temperature. Yeah, but uh, the temperature is changing with time, isn't it? Uh -huh. So probably those velocity estimates are over. Uh, I see, I see, I see, I see. Oh, I, I understand. We are at increasing rate. Exactly. At constant increasing temperature. Yeah, that's right. Not at constant temperature. Right. Uh, sorry. Um, I think. Um, can I just get it? Yeah. 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 This is a new phenomenon. Oh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I'm very much welcome to any comment. <laughs> like, uh, I mean, uh, just two phases from the right one. There's a uh, band, but this can be a three uh, triple projection because it's three D. If it's three D, the boundary can be like this. And if you cut the surface in one place, uh, and there is another line there, so it's a three triple. But in your uh, probably you will think it's just a But at the beginning, I explained we intentionally use the two-dimensional specimen. This is a reason to avoid uh, such a question. So you are the very thin specimen. Yeah, I just want uh, further to Harris and Sega Kauti. No, not at all. No, not at all. Be because because that is very serious. No, okay. Because that's a very serious. If it affects, we cannot analyze. Yeah, you see. That is one of the normally ESP need a high clean surface. Of course, of course. You need, uh, there is speaking that very very shiny. But anyway, to avoid the oxidation. Can I just clarify? So, if if I have the plane matching. Then the growth rate is greater in this direction than in this direction. Because in the case of the another direction, the most difficult diffusion control process is necessary. In the case, uh, just the same as the twist bound. Because the, in half cross factor have to move on the like So it's really difficult. Other questions? Well, thank you very, very much oh, indeed again for an excellent lecture. Thank you very thank much. Thank you everybody for coming. Coming to my lecture. Sorry, always, my English is not sufficient. Always, my English is fine. I think this is fine. Your science is difficult. <laughs> <laughs> thank you very much.